And welcome back, one and all, to Avon Colony, where currently we are nearing our 50 population goal. We have a um, an employment rate of 71%, which I'm very happy with, though the average health is only 70, uh, sorry, 98, and the happiness is quite low. So, I'm thinking that we might want to do something to try and uh, bring up people's happiness. There are a few things we can do. We can build a bar and grill. It needs 20 nanites to, to uh, build and requires 8 power and 10 workers. Increases the food quality and provides some entertainment morale to the surrounding areas. I think that would be a really nice one to place down. We've also got the park, a retail centre and a hospital. Now, the park slightly increases air quality and entertainment morale in the surrounding areas. Um, sure, I... I think that might be quite nice. Let's pop one of those just down by there. So we'll plant, uh, plant a park. Uh, that only requires 12 nanites to, to make and only requires one power. And I think we'll also have a bra and grill, which will in turn improve the overall food quality of our colony. And then we'll uh, draw this out there as well. There we go. Uh, growing the colony. We've got 10 nanites and 25 beer, just in time for the bar and grill. How? Whatever. I have a request for you from the inhabitants of the colony. Okay. We've got to get up to 100 colonists and we'll get 38 beer. Oh, I like this. Now, let's have a look at this and how this works. Um, so it's just increasing the food colony uh, quality overall, which is actually quite nice and is gr slowly improving in efficiency. So we're around about, um, we're probably looking at 18% food quality increase 17 16 percent food quality increase you can change the mode a bar which increases the rate at which alcoholic beverages and enhancement substances are used um bistro offers high-end cuisine prepared by food optimization robots this increases the food quality or the lounge mode offers non-stop music and entertainment which has a positive effect on entertainment happiness now i'm hoping that uh our colonists yeah they, their happiness is starting to go up i'm very glad with that we've got four addicted people what are they oh they're addicted to beer ah you silly silly colonists nine of them are recovering right now very well i can't trust you can't trust you at all but we do have a uh, mission to build a trade hub so i think now is the time for that so let's go ahead and plonk down a trade hub and that can go right there i think would it be fine and then we will finish off that connection there. All right, we've been through one extra winter since uh, last you saw, and currently we're making rice over here. I would like to improve this. A plus 74% food production. Yeah, let's go, go for that. How many workers have we got there? We're almost full on workers, which is glorious to see. Um, we've got 78% of our jobs are filled right now. Let's uh, get the speed up a little bit. Um, I think at this point, I would like this to be upgraded as well, so we've got three builder drones. Right, we've got eight nanites and twenty pasta for the trade mission objective. And growing melons, mission objective, grow 100 melons, and nine nanites and twenty-three beer. I didn't even know I had a mission objective for that. But as you can see, we're bringing in a lot more um, immigrants now, because our um, immigration centres are so well staffed. A new mission is available. And we should probably use a little more electricity. Like most buildings, a geothermal generator will run more efficiently if you upgrade it. Ah, oh, fair enough. I, I agree with that one, actually. Let's get that increased. I need your help to balance our supplies okay. on the colony ship. Great work. Now that you have 100 melons in your inventory, use your trade hub to export them to us. Simply open the trade button, third button on the lower left, and select the appropriate contract. This may take some time, so you'll need to be patient. Okay, well, uh, storage is full, but that is fine because we're about to trade some of that storage away. I'm going to export 100 melons for, oh, for 120 beer. Okay, never mind. I'm going to get uh, more stuff back than I'm sending out there. Right, upgrade mission is complete. 32 nanites and also... Um, we'll actually slow down time completely for the moment. Um, more drones. Upgrade the construction drone hub. 36 nanites. Very, very nice. Now we clearly need more storage. And there we go. The, let me have a look here. Can I upgrade it? No. We need 26 nanites to build this. Unfortunately, I don't think I got those nanites I wanted. Simply because I couldn't fit them anyway. So I'm going to build another one of these and hope for the best. Let's get you out there. I may still get those nanites. They may be given to me um, as I have room to store it. We'll see. I don't know if you can get rid of anything once it's stored. 
Um, they can consume all of these things. They can consume the beer, which is grand. There we go. A bit more room. And no, we've missed out on I've those nanites. Wow, that's just Veronica, annoying. And I'd like to make a few recommendations as okay. to how to best serve your people. This cargo pod not far outside your colony. On the far side of the largest lake nearby, and it's full of valuable food and nanites. Unfortunately, it's out of range of your construction drones. Place a second construction drone hub in the area. The white circle shown when you drag it around shows the drone range. Very well. Um, I'm going to have to wait a little while, though, before I can do that. So let's go to eight times speed. We'll continue to bring in lots of people. There we go. Um, that's what we need to get to over there. I guess I could place it right here, and that would definitely give me the range. Sure. Let's get that done, shall we? Uh, insufficient housing. 68 of 68 used. So in that case, I guess I can just... Um, can't deactivate. Cannot be deactivated while the zone has sufficient power. Temporary shutdown. Uh, can I just not turn it off? Apparently I cannot. Well, that's just annoying. Right, let's go grab this and get those nanites, because I desperately need them. There we go. A new mission is available. Now that you've built the second construction thing, go pick it up, and that'll give me five nanites as well. So I got five nanites from that. I got 11 nanites, 28 past after expanding the colony. And I got a load of nanites from just doing other stuff as well. Now, I desperately want a larger storage option and this one can uh, exist over here let's go ahead and plonk that down basically it's a much larger um storage area but this one can be upgraded much like the habitat versus the apartment the apartments anything that's only one tile generally um is more of a, a transitory thing something you'll build very early in the colony but once you can there's no reason to build these small ones unless you're just you know obsessed about you know filling in every little space you've got and on that note i kind of am so uh oh i can build a tier two greenhouse and uh, i think i will what have we got here that's rice how about quinoa 7.2 corn uh sorry barley 11 actually that's pretty good all things told that's one of the better areas for us no can i have one there apparently Donk. Sure. Ah, I would have been on top of that farm if I'd placed it wrong. I can upgrade these as well. And I'm tempted to. Sure, look, give me one extra farmland tile. Alright. And the same here. One extra farmland tile. Now, bad time to be upgrading these farms because they're not really going to do me anything. But uh, let's have a look at some of these things. Insufficient housing, yes, I know. I know, I know, it's, it's bad, everyone's crowded. Trade vessel has arrived, they imported 120 beer and exported 100 melons. Hooray! Objective complete, we got a bunch of nanites and corn. Um, storage mission complete, 13 nanites and some quinoa. And we've also built a battery already, and that's given me 14 nanites and 36 porridge. Fantastic. We have a new trade mission available. Okay. Maybe it could benefit what do you want? your colony. Export 160 rice. Okay, well, that should be easy since we I'm already growing it. thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Please create three additional structures of any type. Ah, damn it. Oh, no, actually, it already counts one of the ones that I've done. Probably the greenhouse I just built. Good, 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 good. good. All right, well, uh, let's have a look at this tray then. Oh, we can just press T to bring it up. Uh, if I do that, I'll get some pasta, which is quite nice. Yeah, sure. I'll export that out there. In fact, I would like to build a second trade hub as well, just to uh, maximize how fast we're getting things into or out of the colony. And on that note, I would also like to upgrade this, and I would like to upgrade my... Oh, can't afford to upgrade at the moment. It'll cost us 20 nanites. You know what? That is actually going to be a little bit of an issue for us. I noticed there's some copper over there. I would kind of like to hook up to that, because then I'll be able to increase the amount of nanites that we're producing. And ahead of that, I'm going to go and upgrade my current nanite setup. I will upgrade... No, I'll, I'll build a new mine, since that's generally upgrading is what you want to do if you don't have more 
facility, so you want to eke out as much from the current facilities as you possibly can. But I'm liking the colony so far. It's quite uh, efficient looking, I feel. Uh, we certainly uh, started to spread out over there. Um, we, oh dear, did I place something there, maybe? Hmm, I seem to have lost a plant. Like a crop somewhere. That's annoying. Let's go ahead and upgrade you to the highest here. And can't afford the upgrade there. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, dock with the old colony. How are we doing for people? Capa housing capacity use is still 100%. What? 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 What's wrong? I don't think you can find anywhere else to put it. <laughs> so it's like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> You stupid advisor, governor rather, you're not an advisor. You should be, because you're dumb. It seems to say. Uh, let's go ahead and use our potash on that. But yeah, it seems that that's just completely hemmed in. On the plus side, you know, it's going to be... Well, actually, no, it's not, it's, there is no plus side to this. It's, it's just flat out doesn't work. So, poop. Right, we want a new uh, miner over here, just as soon as we get some nanites. That speed of time, there we go. I'll pump that down there. Then it's a case of waiting to be able to upgrade our habitat. And there we are. We are actually pushing quite close to our energy maximum now. There we go. Construct three additional buildings, a bunch of nanite, 60, 42 ration packs, and we can now upgrade. Fantastic. Now, interestingly, we can actually change this. High occupancy. Attempts to increase the number of residents. Colonists gradually migrate over time, depending on occupancy and proximity to their jobs. Uh, I, I guess. High occupancy. I'm not sure that that's actually going to increase the amount of room we've got. I think, no. But that's just saying, look, try and fill this place first, if I've got two areas that can take someone. All right, let's well have a look done. at this. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. You Excellent. May one of the I would like more potash because I'm basically getting all of the rest myself. Um, and on that note, then, are both of these using potash? No, but they should be. Alright, we've completed something else. Farm upgrades, fantastic. Some candy. Oh Lord. Is available. The next step in your colony's growth is the construction of a research centre. Ha ha! Now things get interesting. This will allow you to research a broad array of foods, beverages, and chemicals because you know nothing says a good colony um governor like getting your population addicted to uh, performance enhancing drugs uh let's go ahead and build a uh, solar panel three though right there and i'm actually steam recovery mode interestingly if you build this but you don't need the power you can tell it to cut half of its power generation and instead produce water for your colony which is actually pretty cool now, the research centers over there is going to take a lot of nanites to build that thing. Right, how are we doing for nanites? Synthesizing one nanite. They're pretty much working flat out at the moment. Uh, we've got plenty of iron. We've got plenty of copper. Yeah, we're going good for that. Uh, exporting rice. Fantastic. Hey, What's the next mission? I have a new opportunity. Okay, did you know that a broccoli contains compounds that fight cancer? Naturally, it's fairly irrelevant since that ancient disease was cured a few centuries back on old Earth. But it's still a fun bit of trivia. Ah, wishful thinking. Uh, let's have a look then. Um, we're going to want some broccoli. Now, where will broccoli grow the best? 8 point, what, 10 point 10.3. Apparently the broccoli likes the place where the geotherm is. 10.3 again. Around there, up at the mine. Uh, how about along here? I'd like to try and keep my farms all fairly close together, actually. So, yeah, we'll place a place for... Ooh. Crisis. What's the crisis? Oh, dear. Insufficient housing. That's not a crisis. I mean, I guess it is to some people, but... Let's go ahead and upgrade that again. Seven immigrants. Seven immigrants. Trade vessel has arrived. Now, I've got two trade ports, so I can actually have two trades running at a time. Uh, I would like... I'd just like my trade vessels to be working on that, honestly. Um, 
Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not sure if both of them will work towards the same thing. If you've only got one thing selected. I honestly don't know in on, on that one. But it's clear that we need a new habitat. So we could build one down here. And so we'd have two quite fairly uh, spaced out on the colony. And yeah, I like that idea. Let's have a look at our population, though. 84% happiness. I'm really happy with that, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, we're probably going to want a hospital soon. And I know I'm not really doing things in the order that the, the, the game wants me to do them. And damn it, I'm the colony governor. Not, not these people up in order. They don't know what it's like down here. What a hellish mess this, this world is. With its, you know, pretty plants and, you know, just foliage and beautiful vistas. They need to stop meddling in my face. Next thing, they're going to be trying to tax me. My God. Um, let's actually check out a couple of the overlays for now. Uh, I'll speed things up a little bit, though. Happiness. Generally, people are really bloody happy with the way I'm doing things. Good. I'm glad. Um, resource overlay. Okay. So we've got plenty of food there, water, all sorts of things. What about the commute times? Uh, commute penalty six, six, six. Oh, it's because they're having to go through areas to get there. I see, I see. So th those ones really dislike having you having to walk um, through zones to reach them. Mm. If I could get rid of this. No, no, I don't think we should, really. Uh, we'll slow time down a little bit. Let's check out what we just did. Growing the colony to 100. Hooray! I'm pretty happy with that. How about... The air quality. Ooh, air quality is really low. Oh my lord. We need to address that before it becomes horrible. First, we will upgrade this. But second, I'm going to build a rather expensive but highly efficient vent. And that can be up here to try and deal with any pollutants that might be coming in from there. And I would like another one down here as well. Right there should do. Get those built for me, please. I do not want my people choking on pollution. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists in mind. As now that your colony colonies. has reached 100 Remember, colonists, we're all in this together. It's time to initiate referendums. Your objective of this mission is to win your first referendum election. Keep your colonists happy. You'll need at least 50% of your inhabitants to be happy to win. The first referendum will occur next year. Oh my lord! They can vote me out. What is this nonsense? I disapprove. But I would like uh, my broccoli farm to uh, use potash, please. And I would also like to upgrade this once we get a chance. But how are we doing? We are do. We're actually building a supply of copper. So you know what I think? We need another nanite manufactorium. There we go. Let's get that building, please. And then we should be fine. Now I could run a road in there if I really wanted to to get to these, but honestly, I'm not I'm not that fast. I think some places are just going to be worse to get to than others. It's the same hey in there. real life. Hey it, it, this colony doesn't need to be perfect in every way. If it were, then people would be jealous and there'd be riots on the ships above. No, 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 no. For the for the safety of the entire mission and the crew in the vast colonial uh, colonizing spaceships up above, we we not we're not going to make this place too good. They've 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 got a they you know need to weigh up the options before deciding they want to come down here. Otherwise, everyone would volunteer and there wouldn't be enough. Then there'd be lotteries and then people would win the lottery and their best friend would murder them in order to get their lottery ticket. Oh, it'd be terrible. Chaos. Right, let's speed things up just a tad. I need to win a referendum and export 200 broccoli and, of course, build a research center. But first, I want to see how we're doing for... Uh, we're going down a little bit now. Let's upgrade these. I want to get to the point where I've got... I think at this point I should be able to upgrade it. That I've got two of them running at full capacity without depleting my materials. Ideally, I want my materials more or less to be just sat still. Not going up, not going down, but all is well. Are we going up or down? Mm. I think we're going down by just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Uh, there's quite a lot of copper there, but there's more up here, so we're going to upgrade this one up to a level 3. And we'll see how that goes. But we are... 
it's about time that we build this research center. So uh, the fact that we've got a decent income of nanites right now is lovely. All right, 23 hours until the referendum. We've gotten rid of some more broccoli. Are there any other things that I can trade? Not really, unfortunately. Oh, we've got a little bit more of the broccoli to go. Our storage is starting to get a bit of an issue. Also, water becoming quite an issue. So, how about... We could build an atmospheric condenser. Um, or I can just build a tier 2 water pump. And I think the tier 2 water pump is the better option. That'll be 0 0.8 there. 0 0.9 over there. 0 0.8. Anywhere better. 0 0.9. Of course, it's right next to a lake. That makes a lot of sense. So, we'll go ahead and we'll build that right there. 0 0.9 per hour. Bloody lightning, why? Why would you be so mean? Potash depleted. Alas, our food income is going to start going down now. I am, a, I am sad. But we've now got enough to build what we need to build, and that is going to be a research center. So, now to decide where we're going to build this gigantic thing. My goodness, it is rather large. Um, let's build it down near the, the second habitat, I think. Yeah, let's pop out of there. There we go. Water is now not an issue, which is grand. How are we doing for population? 91% um, capacity used. How about we upgrade them? Let's get this upgraded. I would like to try and keep my population um, kind of along the outskirts so that I can have services in the middle that will reach all of them. That's usually how I build, certainly in games like Anno. I try to have the population on the outside and then all the services clustered in the middle so that they can reach all the population a little bit easier. All right, exporting broccoli is done. Good, good, good. Got a new I mission. Your help to balance our supplies the broccoli the was excellent. Thank you. Now we need some barley for candy. Do we have any barley? I don't know. I could get the barley if I wanted to. I'm not sure I do. Insufficient power. Oh, dear me. Okay, well, time to start discharging the battery then. Provide power, please. There we go. All is well. Is that a second geotherm? That is a second geotherm all the way up there. I'm probably going to have to make a beeline for that one then. A new mission have a is look available. here. The inhabitants of the colony ship have heard a great deal about the substance known as Mind Mold and its remarkable effects on the human brain. It would seem that the creation of this substance requires the processing of several of the native plant species of Avon Prime. Now that you have a research center, instruct your scientists to research the secret of manufacturing mind mold. I'm just going to pause this for a moment. Hashtag real talk. Any drug called mind mold. It's, it's like they pulled the name out of the, the evil chemist's cookbook. Mind mold? Really? Even if you assume that it's like, oh, it doesn't really make your, your brain moldy or anything. It's just, it's just, it comes from a mold, but it helps your brain. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a dumb name for a drug. Uh, right. But we can go in here and we can now research things. So, mind mold. There's lots of things to research. Some things are like breads and stuff like that, but we'll need flour for those. Uh, Xeno incense. Um... We're going to need to build, like, a chemical plant to be able to fabricate these things once we've researched them, but that makes people happy. Star glow. Um, uh, makes users work 35% more efficiently, but damages the health and happiness when withdrawn. So, you know, once, once you start providing this stuff, understand, you're going to be providing it for a long time. Um, and if you stop, people aren't going to like you at all. But we want mind mold. Enhances uh, com compliance. Users are far less likely to commit crimes. Has opposite effect when withdrawn. <laughs> uh, I hope you know what you're getting yourselves in for, um, HQ, because I, I don't think this is going to go well for you. Just saying. Yeah, we've run out of uh, materials, so we do need to increase that. There is the geotherm up there I would like to get to. Any other geotherms around? No, I do not see any. Okay. All right, well, we're going to have to get up there then. Let's uh, upgrade that for now. Uh, this is going to take a little while. It's researching mine mold as we go. And 
And there we are. Now, I'm going to guess that that's outside the range of me actually reaching it. Uh, where's my drone? Structural overlay. No, that's not what it was. Drone overlay. Uh, I think, yeah, it's just outside the range. How annoying is that, eh? Right, well, we need a new drone area then. And this new drone area... How uh, annoying will need to be about there, I would say. Pop that down. Then run a connector up to it. And then a connector out to the geotherm. There we go. Now, unfortunately, that's going to be quite far away from my uh, habitat. So, no matter what we do, there's going to be a bit of a bit of a, an issue over there. Now, have we got crime? Are people unhappy because of crime? Let's have a quick look. Happiness. Yeah, crime is becoming a little bit of an issue. Also, crowding generally, but uh, crime is an issue. It's so, time for oh, a referendum election. Okay, the referendum year has begun. Citizens will cast their ballots at the end of each of the winter season. Uh, each winter season, sorry. You will receive polling updates at the start of each season until voting completes at the end of the year. You must maintain a majority to keep your governorship. All right, I'll try. All right, police drones might be useful. Um, supports drones that monitor colonists and structures to reduce crime. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, now this white is probably telling me where the effect of the police drones will be, so they will be good. And then I would like a highest tier geotherm built over there. There we go. Got a lot of our drones helping out with that, which is quite grand. Already got a drone over there. Fantastic. All right, so we've got a police drone. So hey, a little hey, police bot moving around, checking for criminals. In fact, I would like to upgrade it so that we've got more drones out there checking for criminals. And how are we doing for population here? Uh, let's actually increase this. Agree, great to tier two. Not sure what we'll get for it, but why not, eh? Right, we're almost done. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologize. Got a really croaky throat at the moment. Um, we are almost done with the research center. And we are very near our maximum for habitat as well, which is a bit of a tr troubling thing. I'm going to build another habitat down here, I think, once we've got the nanites for it. Okay, well, let's speed up time. We've got more than enough power, so we don't need to worry about that for a long time. We have more migrants as well. We're at 84% jobs filled. Can we build another um, habitat? Yes, we can. There we go. Let's pop that down. Right. Yes, we're using a lot of, uh, a lot of our habitation space. Objective... Complete. There we go. A mind mold. Uh, research complete. Mind mold. Um, you know what? Let's have a look at what else we want to research then. Something called bliss. I can only imagine that that isn't actually going to be good. Um, a powder that seems to en ha enable profound happiness ca causes the opposite effect when uh, when withdrawn. A unique stimulant similar to caffeine. It boosts the user productivity by 25%. No apparent drawbacks. I like. Uh, okay. So we've got a little bit more room again. We new have mission. a new request for you, boss. Well done. Your scientists now know how to produce mine mold. In order to manufacture that mold, we'll need you to build a chemical plant. This will allow you to process various drinks and enhancement substances. Okay. Uh, energy battery depleted. Uh, it finally finished depleting. You know what? I would like that to be upgraded to the highest tier again. We've got a lot of power coming into the colony, so there's no reason not to have that running at full capacity. In fact, I'll probably build a couple more Hi, boss. around my geotherm. To help guide you in the upcoming referendum election. Okay. I have uh, to walk too far to get to my job. We can barely breathe in here. There's too much crime. Okay. 89% of the vote, though. And barely breathe. Is that a crowding thing or an air quality? Yes. Only 85%, my lord. That's really, really bad. That was really bad. Let me uh, see about upgrading these then. Let me upgrade that as well. Upgrade this one too. Yes, please. And you know what? Since that's all going so poorly, 
I'm going to go ahead and just build one down here as well. So we'll have an intake valve and a filter in the same space. That is probably terrible, terrible uh, misuse of space. But, well, I need my people to be able to breathe. Go figure. Um, we, we actually won't build out anymore down there. It looks like we, we hit some sort of mountain or something. Yeah, kind of. Okay, hopefully that's going to help out. But our storage is getting pretty grim. Let's upgrade this as soon as I can. 14 nanites we're going to need. Okay, there we go. Right, so at the moment we've got to build a chemist plant. And it, we're almost done with the barley, actually. But what we're going to need, I feel, are plants. Let's just have a quick look at what we require for mine. Oh, I don't have it there. Well, try it. Okay, I guess we're going to build the chemist station first then. A chemical plant down there. We can build it down here and then, or maybe even up there and then build um, some, uh, some of the farms needed to produce the, the native plants that we're going to require. All right, but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. The colony is coming along. It's really starting to flash out now, and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to win this referendum, but we'll have to see in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll be joining me for the next. As ever, any feedback, warmly welcomed, and a like on the video lets me know you want to see more Avon Colony in the future. But until then, take care, everyone.